Welcome guys to the Scorpius GLC's World of Wargaming. Tonight I've got a uh, Beat Dad Bat Rap uh, with my son, Sicarius2003. Hello. He's going to run through um, what we're going to do tonight, so if you bear with us, uh, my son will appear on the screen. Uh, hello, I'm Sicarius2003 and me and my dad, Scorpius GLC, are playing Dark Age. It's a uh, Dark Age is a post-apocalyptic game, um, which is set on the planet Samaria. So, um, if um, you just bear with us, we will um, show you the armies. Hello, I'm Sicarius2003, and this is my group This is the starter box. Um, and we're going to get in the starter box. Is either Red Heart or Giselle, whichever. I'm going to use some red hot today, which I want to use. It's fine. And you've got two brood hounds. Then um, they uh, have quite a good abilities. And then you've got the ratchets, who uh, basically have two weapons in one attack group. But, okay, that's my brood force. Now we're going to pass it over to Scorpius GLC, and he will show you his core force. Okay then guys, here's my core force. Um, at the front here we have a Pathfinder. At the side are two Wrens. Wrens uh, have two Buzzsaws each. Uh, really high armor class, really hard to defeat. Uh, and over here we have the Menial Bots, which are the foot sluggers of the force. So it's going to be a really great close battle. These are two starter boxes. So if you stick with us guys, me and my son, Sycarius2003, We'll get into the battle, and you'll get to see how it progresses. Okay then guys, to start off with, we're going to start with an initiative roll. So, if uh, Sycarius2003 picks up a dice and we roll, in this game, the person with the lowest dice roll gets to either go first, or nominate one of his enemy units to activate first. So, we'll start off with the initiative roll. I roll a 13. I roll a... Five. So, Sicarius 2003 gets to choose whether he activates one of his units first or whether he's going to activate, get me to activate one of my units first. So, if you bear with us, we're just going to grab our stat cards and then we'll get back to the game. Okay then, so we've now got the stat cards so we can actually get on with doing some activations. So then, Sycarius2003, what are you going to activate? I'm going to activate my... Um, I'm going to activate my ratchets first. Ratchets first? So, in this game, models or units have um, a stat called uh, action points. This allows them to do a set series of stuff, like move and things. So if they want to move this turn, Sycarius2003 is going to have a look at the movement stat on the card, which is... Um, three. Which is three inches. And, and they have four movement. Four movement and three activation three activations points. activations, I got them mixed up. Okay, so, if you want to do your movement... One activation. Two. Two activations. That's actually only going to be twice because I don't want to get too beaten up on by the corn. Okay. Now the ratchets have the only special ability they have is regeneration, whereas the brood hounds and red hot both have volts. So that's a little thing to look out for if you're playing the uh, brood. Um, so we're going to activate our That's my activation done. Okay, so it's over to me now. I'm going to activate my Wrens, which are these guys over here. Wrens have three activation points and three inch movement, so if we activate once, twice, three times, once, twice, three times, that's me activated. So, Sycarius 2003, your second activation, please. Um, I'm going to activate my top next. Uh, so, one. She's only going to move one position. I won't want the ratchets to fall behind. Okay. So now my Pathfinder will activate. The Pathfinder is this big beast over here on an 80mm base. That's 80mm base. The Pathfinder, he has a movement of four and three activation points. So 
He's going to move once. Now he has a strider ability, so he ignores terrain. Twice. Three times. And that's him activated. So, Psycharis 2003, what's your next activation then? Um, it's going to be now, uh, just to let you know, Strider is, a, is exactly the same as Vault. Not really. Vault allows you to jump over things, including other models. Strider just allows you to move through difficult terrain. I only thought, I, I only thought that you could jump over terrain. I didn't no, realize you could jump over other models. So. Ah, that's yeah, that's something to note. You can actually jump over other models. So those brood hounds, what are they going to do then? They are going to um, move. So what's their movement rate? Their movement rate is four. Okay, so move them four for per activation. Yeah, they land just over the terrain. Yeah. And their second activation? No, no second activation for the same model, or is he not moving? He doesn't move. have to move his full distance if he doesn't want to. He's actually going to move a little bit to, further, yeah. yeah. Um, now, I'm hoping you can follow him again. That's Brilliant. my all, all my activations done. Okay. So, so let's just copy his DLC to activate his final unit. Right, Menial Bots in the corner. Menial Bots, they have two activation points and a four inch move. So if I move full out for two activations, they can move eight inches. So if I do it all in one go, nice and speedy. These guys move up the battlefield, clanking their metal joints as they go, <laughs> with their rust falling off their chassis. So that's a turnover. Nothing in the lingering effect stage, so we're going to roll for initiative. Initiative again is the lowest roll gets to activate first, or nominates an opponent to activate. Oh! Sicarius 2003 rolling a 20 there, and I roll a 7, <laughs> so I'm going to activate first. Now, I, what are you going first to thing I'm going to activate is my Pathfinder. Now, the Pathfinder, as we said, has got three activation points and a four inch move, so if I uh, measure him. Four inches, first activation point. Second activation point gets him into base contact with Red Hot. On your turn that you move into combat, it's counted as charging. So he gets a free action to attack. He has two buzz saws underneath his attack group. So with an AS of six, I'm adding that to the defense of Red Hot, which is... So nine. Plus one for charging, That's ten. means my target number is ten, so ten or less on two dice. Oh dear, I didn't hit at all, but I rolled a twenty. The mm. twenty is, means I lose my last activation point. So you don't actually get to attack again. And it's a malfunction. Now in a malfunction, my buzzsaws might hurt myself, so I need to make a save. My armour is eighteen. I take away from that the power of the buzzsaw, which is three. So that leaves me 15 as a target number. But I've got to roll on two dice and pass on both, otherwise I take a wound. And with that, a critical success and a critical failure. The critical success means that I ignore the wound. So that's him activated. It's now over to Sicarius 2003. Well, the first thing I have to really do is activate Red Heart and get a free action to, go to attack the back You don't get a free action because you're not charging. Does that only happen when you're charging? Yes. So I'm actually going so to. So your first action point. It's going to be I'm going to attack your Pathfinder. Now, Red Hot, the only um, ability, the only um, attack she's got in the full um, legacy of attacks is kick. So I'm going to kick your Pathfinder's uh, facing. Okay. So kicking the Pathfinder's facing, <laughs> you get one dice. You add the AS of the kick, uh, which is five. attack skill, guys, and add that to the defense of my Pathfinder, which is six, giving you a target number of 11. Eleven. So? I, I don't get to talk about charging because I'm not charging. No, so 11 or less, and you'll hit the Pathfinder. I roll a seven. Roll of a seven gets a nice shiny hit. So now I'll try and save. Pathfinder's armour is 18, the strength of the kick is uh, four. 4. So 14 or less. On a roll of a 3, a pass, no wound. So that's not the end of it because the Red Hot has 4 activation points, so she can do it all over again. <laughs> 
So she's going to attack me again, needing an 11 or less. Which she does, so on a 2 she hits me. So I get to roll a 14 or less. 13 or less, sorry. On an 8, she does. Pathfinder is sticking it in the battle here. So, third activation point. Are you going to try and kick my face in again? Finally, it's the third time. Third time. On an 11. Third time looking. On a 9, he does it. He hits me again. So, 13 or less to save. 5. I save. Maybe fourth time. Okay, last activation point now for the Red Hot. Maybe fourth time. She looking. promised to kick the face into the Pathfinder. Is she going to do it? I hope so. On a 13, she fails to kick him in the face this time. Ugh. So, <laughs> so her this. activation is done. Right, it's now my activation. I got lucky all three times except for the last one. It's my activation then. Rens will activate. Three activation points, three inch movement, means they can move nine inches in total. Yeah. Bringing me up to there. You are actually quite close to me, all of it's closing in on me. Okay, so now it's your activation, Psycheris 2003. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ratchet into combat mode. Um, well, my first ratchet, anyway. Now, now, just to let you know, um, um, in groups or squads, as they call in this game, um, um, they both they both get the same number of action points and the same number of attacks. So um, the AP of the bat is three. So altogether from the whole squad, I had to attack six times to try and either club the pathfinder to death or just short sort. Well, actually, it's six power. times per model, isn't it? Because they have two attacks. Two. They have, yeah, exactly. So the first one, where's he going? He's just going to move into base contact. Okay, so he charges. Oh. In this game, there's no minimum distance for charging. So he charges. So, what's his AS? Um, attack skill, it's, guys. Uh, six. Attack skill, six. My Pathfinder has a defense of six. So that's so that 12. Gives him 12 as a target number, but he's charged, so he so gets plus 13. one. So 13. I rolled a five. He rolls a five. So the ratchet hits, hits first of all with which weapon was that? Um, that was the chitting club. The chitting club. So he hits with the chitting club. Is he going to knock the path? Oh, he can't knock the pathfinder, Brian. I'm sorry. Because it's uh, because it's got Strider. So he hits me. Let's see if I can save. What's the strength of that chitting club? Um, it is four. Has it got a times two or anything? No, just four. Four? So, uh, 14 or less, guys. On a 13, I just save. Just. Now, just. in his attack group, I a ratchet two has two attacks. First of all, he attacks with a chitin club, and then he attacks with his sword. So, the sword now. I call it a dagger. Yeah, it's a little dagger, yeah. What do you need to roll? Roll, it's the same power, I need to roll 12 and roll 3. Yeah, so he hits. On 14 or less. On a 10, I pass the save. Uh, so that was his first activation point, everybody. So, his second activation point. Because I've got a free action for getting space-to-space contact and charging. Yeah. So now it's my second activation point. Uh, going to give the chicken club. Uh, 19, I failed the attack. He fails the attack, everybody. I'm going to go for the short sword The short now. sword is attacking. The short sword fails to Fails to hit. It's worth saying, after his first charging attacks, he loses his plus one. So, um, his actual target number is reduced by one. So, his, his third activation point is his last one. Yeah? Third activation, Chitting Club. What does he need to roll? Well, it's a, uh, it's power, it's, um, attack skill six. So twelve, so Ten. A ten, he hits me. See if I can save. On a one, I do. <laughs> it's critical success. Critical success there. So that was his final activation point, wasn't it? Yes, but now I get my other ratchets attacked. Because of course ratchets are a squad of two. 
So, so you lose get four to... inches and charges as the table moves. <laughs> Sharp, table moves sharp. Make sure he's, he's in base contact, that's right. Yeah. Table moves and sharp. Yeah. So he now, he gets a special thing called gang up. Because there's one up. Oh, sorry, we missed out the gang up for the other ratchet. Never mind. Sorry, guys. A little mistake there. But this What's ratchet gang gets the gang up. That, so. Yeah. So, we work out the target number as follows attack skill of six. With a defense of 6, makes a target number of 12. Yeah. You charged, so a target number becomes 13. 13. There's two other models in base contact fighting with it, so you add 2 to that. So, 4! 15. 15. So, um, my target number is 15 or less. 15 or less for a chitting club attack. It's going to be quite easy. He Eight. hits. Now, Gang up also works on the power. So he goes from power four. from power four to power five for charging. And then six and does it add two more Yeah. Um, so now I've got power seven. Power seven. Off my armour of eighteen means I need to roll eleven or less. Which I do, I pass yeah. on an eight. Now I need to roll a short sword. Short sword. Oh, this is, bear in mind, this is only my uh Free activation point. Yeah. Look. My fingers. My so what was your target number? Fifteen. Fifteen. So he hits on a thirteen. But no, fourteen. Yeah. So he hits on a thirteen. Because I wasn't charging anymore. So eleven or less. He passes on a five. All right. Time for my time for my actual first activation. Club club misses. Club misses now. You don't get your charging bonus, but you do get your gang up. I do get my gang up. Mm -hmm. So... Target number would be 12, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. So you missed with that one. Short sword. Short sword. Hits. Hits. Power 4, 5, 6. So 6 off 18 leaves a mighty 12 to bowl under. 3, a pass. Yeah. Third activation point. Final activation point. Yeah. No, 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 second activation point. No, this is your third activation. Uh, so, just misses. Short sword. Oh, yeah. Short sword. Short sword. Short sword. Short sword hits. So, on a 12 or less, passes. Uh. Why do you keep rolling like good arm saves? I know, it's brilliant. But then it? again, I do roll good attack ones. Okay, so now it's my activation. So, my activation. <laughs> Over to the menial bots. Now, menial bots get to move. Four uh, inches, two activation points. That's a mighty eight inches, everybody. He charges forward. Mighty charge. I don't think, think he's charging. I think he uses. Well, no, he's jet running. Boosters. Yeah. Jet boosters. Jet boosters, is it, yeah? So, they move forward, rushed falling off their mighty climbing forms, and now it's over to the brood hounds, the hounds of the brood. So what are the hounds of the brood going to do then? Um, well, they're going to move, and then they're going to attack the pathfinder. Now, what the brood, what the brood hounds can do, they can, they can, they can basically do, they've got, um, as attack group one, which has got two retractable claws in it, and then you've got a tech group two, which is the mind. Now what the brood house can do is they can just go one claw in the right right of the head, left claw in the left of the head, and then just like bite its head off. So yeah, the brood right. house can move. So the first brood hound, he's gonna try and use his retractable claws and try and rip and tear some of those wiring out of the pathfinder. Now bear in mind that this is a charge attack. It is a charge attack, right. So I get a free action point. So, he's charged in. Now, remember, gang up. Yeah. So I've got a That's right. Well. Yeah, well, you get gang up for the other stuff that's in base contact, so. Oh, so that would mean I get, I get, I get ratchets, red hearts, I get, I get three models. That's right. Bones. So, let's get some rolling on the way then. So, he gets two retraction claws, so two dice. Uh, he gets... 
a mighty AS. Whoa, 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 everybody. We all know we work out the target number Sorry. before we roll. What? It's getting excited, everybody. Getting excited. So, we work out the target number. The target number of what? Let's work it out. AS of plus the defense of the Pathfinder of six gives you a mighty target number of ten. Ten. But he charged. Eleven. And Gangle. And Gangle. Three others. Fourteen. Fourteen. So target number 14, everybody. And eight. Eight. No, but both hit. An eight and a three means he hits with both retractable claws. But what about the bite attack? Well, we'll do these first. We'll try and save these, and then you get your three bite attack, which doesn't take an action point to do. Right. So, what's the power of these? Uh, the power is both of these. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. So, <laughs> eleven's or less. Oh dear. oh dear! 20 oh dear. is a critical failure. Now, a critical failure means you take two wounds. Well, my mighty Pathfinder only has two wounds. So the Pathfinder's dead. Yet again, in the tutorial, the Pathfinder also died first. But, he has fortitude. Fortitude? Don't you mean dying effect? Yeah, that's right. Now, fortitude, every- now, fortitude everybody. Fortitude means that I get to activate next turn and then die. So, not too bad. So, the only way that we can stop this from happening is if that bite attack and then followed by the other brood hound causes my wounds to be double, and if that happens, he gets killed, destroyed. So, three bite attack. No. So, the three bite attack. What's the target number for the three bite attack, Logan? Um. So we've got an AS of six, gang up, uh, nine. And they charged. And they charged, so ten. Ten attack skill. Plus six is sixteen, everybody. A high attack skill. So let's roll to see. Twelve. He does. Now what's the strength? Uh, the, twen- the strength is... Sorry, the power? Uh, six. Uh, gang up. Power six? Yes. Start off with? Start off with. Plus one for charge, everybody. That's power seven. And then Plus gang three. Up. Power ten. Eight or less to save. Oh. Oh. On a one, I do, what? everybody. Yes, on a one, I do. Critical success. Okay, so that was the Boonhound's first activation point, everybody. Second activation point. Uh, that would be. Second activation point. Two um, claws, everybody. Two claws. retractable claws. Long. Now, target number. Um. Um, the power, uh, the attack skill is four. Plus my defense of six means ten. Plus three for gang up, thirteen. Thirteen. So target number thirteen, everybody. Not charging anymore. No. Second activation point. No, exactly. Uh, fourteen and five. So one hit. What? Well, um, the other one doesn't. So power four means fourteen or less. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Sorry, power four, seven. So, 11 or less to save. I fail, so he takes a wound. So he's nearly, nearly dead. He's nearly dead, not dead, not dead Third yet. activation, did I get three activation points out? Uh, also? Pounds, yeah, three. Three. So, retractable claws again, everybody. Yes, the claws just, just retract. Oh, oh critical. critical success. The critical success means that I don't get an armor save. I take a wound automatically, which is enough to kill it. Now, we don't remove a large construct from battle. It becomes a wreck. So that now is a wreck. And it stays there. Now, this doesn't apply for the menial bots and the red No. Right, okay, so. The other brood hand, what's it doing? Um, that was him for the first one. It's, it's ch- but I need to measure it. Now this is going to take two activations, so I'm... Well there's no need to attack it, so it might as well just stay there, have not it? Because it's dead. Oh yeah, because I, I forgot, we killed the Pathfinder. Okay. Seriously? Okay, so... The seriously everybody was my son deciding to tell everybody that the dog just knocked my expensive iPad off the side. So... Okay. Now, over we go then. Ladies and gents, to the initiative step. So, roll the dice. 
Lowest roll, I roll a 12. I roll a... 8. So would you like me to activate something first or would you like uh, to activate first? I'm not going to force you to activate anything because these vents are quite close right here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate my ratchets first. So what they're going to do, they're going to go for the vent because I know the vents are getting quite close. Free activation, charging. Because, okay. uh, so, that first activation point is charging. This free, act of, this free action point, I don't think Psycheris 2003 really gets. It just means he gets to attack for free on his first activation point of moving. It doesn't mean he, activa it doesn't mean he gets, he just ignores the first act activation point. No, that's not what I, I, I didn't say it was. So, right, first activation point is charge. Charge! So, what's his AS? Okay, his AS is... Um, six. Um, without gang up because um, it's not the other one isn't in base to base contest. That's right. It's still in base to base contest with the vet of the Pathfinder. Okay, so AS of six plus the defence of five makes eleven. Plus one for charging makes twelve. Oh. So a target number of twelve to roll. Now I'm. Yeah, so this is. A one critical success. So a critical success means no armour save. That's what I rolled last time. So a wound. Wound. Okay. Um, just, to, just to be sure, how many wounds have your vents got? Two and fortitude. So, yeah, that means... Uh, oh. So, now the short sword. Now the short sword gets into play. Eleven. So, it hits. Because um, it still counts if it's the same number. If it's the same uh, uh, attack group. Is. So it hits me again. Four off my armour. Now these guys have got ablative armour. So ablative armour means I get three little little points. One of them's been used up. So second one means that his armour is now armour 20. Armour 20 minus 4 means 16 or less. And ah, armour 20. Critical, critical failure. Now, critical failure means I take two wounds. So. He's you now into fortitude mode, everybody. So really, unless unless the ratchet gets another hit in on him, that means he's dead. That's because right. um, he's got three wounds altogether. That's right. So, Ratchet's next activation point. Um, will be to attack. He's going to attack, is he? So, so attack skill of six versus your defence of five. five makes... 11. Um, a, a whopping 11. So, target number of 11, everybody. On an 18, it's a miss. So, sword. Let's, let's the short swords get into it. We've forgotten something. We've got to knock prone. We've got to. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, okay. See if you knock them prone. Well, no, I've, I've missed, though. The first one you didn't, though, did you? Oh, so no, see yeah. if you knock prone. See if now, knock prone, guys. Quite literally, he has to roll under the number on his card that says not prone. If um, he does, so he knocks me prone. Um, I did that quite a lot last time. I rolled a four. Which he does, so I am now prone, everybody. So, now, the short sword. Um, short sword. Um, this one's, I think this one's, that one's short sword misses. Short sword doesn't hit. Third the activation ball. point. Club. Oh, I'd roll a six, I wasn't sure. Yeah, he hits. Roll. Let's roll to save. Uh, armour 19, minus 4 leaves 15 to save. On a roll of a seven, he saves. Okay, so third activation point. Five for dagger. Misses. Okay, okay. time for the second match. Now this one will get Gangle bonus because there's already a If you can get him into base contact. Which I don't think you can. Just to... No, no. I'm just a tease. No, so you'll be attacking the other one. I'm going to be attacking the other one. Right, the one yeah, so you won't get Gangle bonus. No. So, he charges. So, so, that, so um, um, yeah, attacks of six. Um, plus plus five one. is eleven. Plus one makes twelve. Target number of twelve for his first attack with the chitting club. On oh, a roll of a one, everybody. Critical, critical success. success. Oh, All right, take. Well, but we're both rolling a lot of critical successes. Yes. So that's eight. Oh, that's eight. 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 Eight.
he is very lucky, everybody. He's very lucky at this. So are you. So are you. You're quite lucky as well. <laughs> okay. So, he's hit me with a chitting club. Is he knocking me prone? Not prone ability. Let's see. It does not, because it's a not prone 12. Yeah, he doesn't knock me prone. Sword, then. Is he going to stab and cut sword. at me with his sword? Is he going to go slash slash? Slash slash, everybody. Ten. He does. He hits me. Save. On a 20, so 20 minus 4 is. <coughs> sorry, 20 six. minus 5 is 15. On a 7 ah, save. You are very lucky at rolling under the um, set number. Target number, yes. Target number. Okay, so second activation point then. This uh, time it's got a charge. Not so, a charge. Cut. So Needs 11. No, it needs a miss. Short sword. No, that kind of. Uh, so, no, we need to miss. Oh! oh critical, critical success! success. Well, so, we said at the same time. Two wounds! He's gone into fortitude mode, everybody. Fortitude mode. So, third activation. Uh, third activation, obviously, we attack. So. Oh, did you not be prone with the chitting club? Oh, you missed it. No, I missed it. Okay, chitting club then. Uh, so yeah, let's roll. 11 or less. 11 or less, come on. 2! A roll of a 2, he hits Almost, me. almost 2 critical success. Armour 19. Minus 4, leaves 15. Pass oh. on a 12. Uh, wait. Not prone? Not prone, I forgot, I forgot about almost. Oh, no. I won! So, short sword. Slash and hack and slash. Hack and slash. Hack and slash with the short sword. Which one? Oh, it's the one with the critical success on it. Okay, he hits through that. 14 or less. Hits. Saves. Woohoo! Uh, you're very lucky at rolling under the target. So, my activation. I will activate my rends. Now, they're in fortitude mode, so it means after this, after this round, of actions, they, they die. They die. Now the one on the right, this one here, um, isn't been knocked prone, so he has to use an action point to get back up. So one of his action points is to get back up. Second activation point will be to attack. It has two buzz saws, so two dice. Attack skill of six, plus the defense of the ratchet, which is five. So that means elevens to hit. One hit. The other one doesn't. Now, these guys have a power four times two. Now, how that works is, we take the power four away from the Chitin's armour. Which is uh, 14. So that means he needs to roll ten or less. But because he's got a times two, he has to roll ten or less on two dice. If he fails one of them, he takes a wound. He takes a wound. Oh! Yay! Critical failure! So he rolls a critical failure, everybody. That means he takes two wounds. Um, so actually it wouldn't be the only one until one. So he's taken more than double his wounds. And also... In so that one, it's the other one. Also in the lingering effect state, I have to take a panic check for my other one. That's right, because of horrible death. Because the... So I'll put a little white, oh, put a little white yeah. counter next to that one. Yeah, because you can do a panic check. Okay. Uh, I need to put this somewhere the dog can't reach it. Oh yes, the mighty scrap doodles. <laughs> right, put it over there on the table. That's right, yeah, no, 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 that, that, that's fine, yeah. yeah. It's just that they wanted to be able to live in the camcorder. Okay, yes. Just in case it crawls along and goes, I'm going to hack the camcorder. Thinking it's a, a rent. Right, okay, so that rent's done. His, sec his second activation was to do that. Third activation, he'll charge. Oh dear, charging effects. So, Wait, now... oh, does it, does it count for all of the activations? Mode. Yeah. So he's charged. So AS of six plus a defense of a defense of five means elevens charged twelve gang up thirteens. Oh, critical dear. failure! Critical failure! Critical failure! I lose my last activation point and I've malfunctioned. So two saves. 
Armour 18, minus 4, leaves 14 or less on two dice, which I fail. I fail. He is now dead. He is a dead friend. Because he sawed himself in the face. That's right. Next rend. First activation point. We've made up a, a song from The Hobbit just to look like a, like a little parody. Yes, a little parody song. So Cut the walls, break the face. And stuff like that. Stuff so, like yeah. That. So, the Rens attacking. Attack skill 6, plus 5, makes 11. 11's everybody. A critical mm, success, success and a hit. Booyah! So, <laughs> critical, critical means he takes double wounds. Sorry, he takes a. Not double wounds. He takes an automatic wound. I can't armor save. No armor save. The other one means armor save. So. Uh, so times two, yeah. So two dice. Critical success. Oh so yeah! So there we go. Um, second activation point for the rend. Eleven's or less. Oh! oh! Critical failure. Loses his last activation point. And it's a malfunction. So it seems the malfunction. The malfunction <laughs> causes a wound. Hey! He activates sounds like and shot, boy. dies. Like shotgun. Yes. So it's now over to me. Team Sycarius 2003. Uh, so Team Sycarius 2003. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna like to make my blue hounds. Yeah. Now the blue hounds are not. Would you say that's in range? Because he's kind of biting in the arm. Yeah. So, he gets into base contact with charge. So, let's do some attacks, everybody. Retractable claws, two of them. But, I'm not actually doing that. What's I'm doing? actually vaulting over him and then killing the other two of my retractable claws. Now, that's a silly idea. I would kill that one straight in front, retractable claws, and then move into the next one. That seems like the best thing to do. Kind of, yeah. It's, like yeah. A, it's kind of like a barge attack. Yeah, exactly. So, let's kill this this menial bond in front. Let's not vault over it. No, no, that Let's would be, that would be a bit si- silly. Yeah. I would I would kill two at the same time if I hit both of them. You could, if you want to do that, you can do that. But, but then but, again, but even but I'm looking at that around. base size and I think that gap's bigger than that base think, size. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, I think I wouldn't be able to, like, just yes. go, yeah, grab both of you and smash your heads together. So, let's do some attacks. Two dice. Uh, two dice. AS? Um, AS is uh, 4. Plus my uh, defense of 6 means 10. Plus 1 for charging means 11. One hit. This one doesn't. Um, armor 16 minus 4 means 12 or less to save. On 11, oh, 11. saves. Second activation point. No, not no. Hits. Third activation third, point. Uh, third and final activation point. Yeah. Um, one hit, two, one hit. Sorry, guys, we're back in one second. Okay, guys, we are back. Oh. So, one hit. One save. On a 12, just. So, if, second brood... If you roll a 13 or higher, you So, second brood hound. Bots. One, um, this one here will charge in. That's just about in base contact. Like that, in base contact. He's uh, in base contact. Just, just about. No, he is in base contact. Not just about. He's touching bases. That's base contact. <laughs> so the power game we're in, my son, going for it. He's just about in base contact. The bases are touching. <laughs> That's base contact. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so. We have a mighty combat claw with an AS of two. Uh, 
What's the defence? Defence of four. Plus one. So seven. A hit on a three. Ah, oh, three. Two uh, times two. Save. So what's his armour? His armour is 14. So 12 or less on two dice. 12 or less on two dice. Oh! Critical failure! Critical failure! Critical failure means that he takes two wounds! He would have been dead if he didn't even roll 20. So he's dead, everybody! He's dead, 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 dead. Dead, dead, dead. That means I have to take two panic checks! Because, um. They don't have horrible death. Are they. Oh, oh no, it's under half strength. It's under half strength. See, my son corrected me on the rules. How good's this? So he's going to use the second activation point to charge! 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 So, either the 7 or less. Oh, an 80 oh, misses. Oh, just about. Next one will charge! Charge! Either an 8 or less, because I gang up. 8 or less, oh, I'm an 8! You've got to be kidding me! Just, so, just about. So, two 12s or less to save. Uh, I hope I don't get a critical failure. No! So he takes a wound! He's dead. Ah, but he's got regeneration, so he goes into the dying. Ah, dying. So, second action. Oh, I've used two actions on him. Yeah, I did. Okay, charge with the next one. Charge! Why do you keep hitting me? That's the problem. So, nine's on this one, everybody. Oh, oh 19. Second activation. Oh, oh no. Wait, gangle. Yeah. Yeah, I've counted that. Oh, so, no. your activation, have you got red hot to activate or shield activated this turn? Um, she doesn't, she doesn't activate it. One, two, base to base contact. Yeah. So she's going to kick the menial bot in the face. No, not in the face. The, the weird spinning clock thing. The, like, plug thing. Yeah. Because they don't have a face. Okay. The cog. The cog, yeah. Yes. Cog. Okay, so she's going to kick me in the cog. <laughs> That's C-O-G, everybody. Cog. So, kicking me in the cog. So, uh, let's roll. So the power, the attack skill is five. Plus so defense of six means eleven. Plus one for charging is twelves, twelves. To kick me. Yeah, it's only one. So yeah. Oh, yeah, he rolls a twelve. Just about. So he hits me. What's the power? Uh, the power is four. From my armor of sixteen. Is uh, twelve. Twelve. Body charged. So Minus one to that. So eleven. Passes oh, on so the seven. Second activation. Kicks me in the face again. In the face again. He gets me. And th that one's just thrown over to a. But that one isn't the perfect success. Passed. Boom. Hits me again. Yes. Failed oh. its save, it dies. Oh, have the mean ones only got one health? Yeah. Oh, they've got fortitude. No, no, I don't know if they've got fortitude, I can't remember. So it dies. <laughs> um, look on your card. Oh, yeah, but the cards have been updated since I've got these ones. So I need to get the new cards, everybody, which are available off the www.darkage.com website for free download. I have downloaded them, but I haven't printed them out yet. So, um... So that, with that one it dies, because I can't remember if it's got fortitude, so we we'll count it as dead. <laughs> so final activation point, are you charging in? Yes, I am charging. Getting a gamble bonus. Yes, I've got bonus. So. Actually, technically, I should have got a gamble bonus on that one as well, because that was touching bases. Oh, yes, yeah. Come on then. It's actually touching bases with all of them. Yeah, so gamble bonus on the next one. Got bonus. Yeah. Just about reached the dice. This is. Oh. So, with that, we now roll initiative, everybody. Wait, then we're in the effect stage. Oh, yes, then we're in the effect stage. And now I need to roll two panic checks. No, well, only. Yes, yeah. We roll those when they activate. So, first and foremost, regeneration. Regeneration on the ratchet. He's got regeneration. One. So, one dice. 
Ten or less? Less. No. Oh no, so he, he keeps is his wound. keeping his wound. How many wounds have they got? Uh, they have got one. So next time he activates, he'll die. Yeah. Fear does not activate. Nope. You have to activate. Yep. So I can't really attack him. Brute hound. Brute hound. Regeneration one. Uh, yes. Ten or less. He regenerates his wounds. What? Mario. Woo, So, with the mighty Mario sound effects, <laughs> he regenerates his wounds. So, we will roll for initiative. Initiative. I've rolled a 14. I roll a... Seven. Seven. So, do you want me to activate first or are you going to activate first? Uh, uh, I'm going to activate first. I'm going to activate with Brood Hound. Okay, Brood Hound. Uh, panic check. Takes a panic check. Under your psychology, what's your PS? Eleven. So eleven or less, otherwise he runs away. So, oh no, I'm just scared. Oh! oh! So, ah! so measure how far he moves. He moves uh, that way. Moves this way. Ooh. Without Back. moving Back. the pathfinder. Back. I'll try to have to switch. Yeah, he'll get he'll get an, he'll be basically attacked by his own troops, so red hot will kick him to try and stop him from running. She'll kick him in the face. So yeah, she rolls. I'm just kicking the legs. Do, shall I do it? What's what's Giselle's um, red AS? Hot. Sorry, red hot. Um five. Five. She's plus gonna the kick defense, him in the legs, not the face. Plus the defence of the broodhound. But the defence of the broodhound is what? No. Uh, Nine. 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 Messes. He runs away. Okay, so he runs away. So take the panic counter off. Okay. Now it's my activation. Menu bots. Menu bots. Menu bots. So the menu bots will activate. Menu bot number one will charge. Ah, charge. Charge. Bear in mind, there are only two menu bots now. Yep. So he'll charge. He gets an attack skill of two. Plus one for charging, three. Plus one for gang up, four. <laughs> Plus the defense of uh, red hot. Uh, three. 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 Seven, everybody. Four Four Double it. Hit. Double it. Second activation. This time, attack skill two. Plus three is five. No. Nope. Plus no. one for gang up. No charge, though. No. Nope. Plus one for gang up. Six. Miss. So he misses. Double this. Second Mino Bot will activate. Sixes. Hits on a six. Ah, oh, I'm a two. Two by two. I've got uh, one fourteen. So twelve. Oh, sorry. It's three times two. Three. Yeah, three times two because of the little gang up. Three times two. So elevens on two dice. Elevens on two dice. Come on. Oh! Ah! Yeah, critical success means that she ignores the other failure. So, uh, second activation. Hits uh, on a six. Yeah. Gosh, are you kidding me? The same roll as last time. Doubled, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, eleven. 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 Oh! Oh, she takes a wound. The mean your bot hit. Okay, your activation. Power block. Uh, my activation. Time to kick his, well, kind of jaw. Yeah. Jaw in. Kick him. Okay, so, kick. AS. Uh, uh, five. Plus, defense six means elevens. Uh, elevens or less. One click. One, one, one kick. Oh, one, not one click. So, oh, yeah. seven. So, hit. Power. Power of four. Off my armour of sixteen means twelve or less. Past. Uh, Second action. It's gonna attack. Now the question is, does do they get extra defence because um they're dead? No. no, I just need defence. Eleven. Eleven or less. Yeah. Oh two. 
failed the save. Oh. I can't just draw it. Should I just kick him across the battlefield? Until Final activation. Final oh, activation point. Yeah. I, I just kicked the other new robot so it's so far away he can't pull back until... Well... Like, this could be the end of the battle, everybody. This could be the final blow. Um, so, there is actually just um, just a minion bot left. Just a minion bot. One Eleven minion. or less. Oh, um, one nice. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yes. Can I save it? Can you save? Can I save? No. no! So yes! with that, the minion bot dies. We shake hands, everybody. That is the end of our battle report. Woo! The beat dad bat rap ended up being a defeat at the hands of Sycarius 2003. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like the look of Dark Age, please have a look at www.darkage.com. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.